So I just woke up guys and this is the end result after Christmas. There's a mess everywhere. It's dirty. I woke up and I'm like, I have to make breakfast. But you know what? I can't make breakfast in this messy kitchen. I have to get this cleaned up first. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Where should I start? hello 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 welcome back to my channel for this video i'm going to be doing a cleaning video but before we get started with that did you guys know that there's a little handprint with a thumbs up that you can click on it's to like this video and that will help me huge guys because youtube will recommend my video more people will watch it this helps me know that you guys enjoyed this video and i can share more of these cleaning videos with you guys Thank you to all who clicked the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of all my upcoming videos. Turn that little bell on. Now let's get started with the actual cleaning video. About time, right? For the sink, guys, I'm gonna be spraying this sprayer. This one's from the dollar store. It's a degreaser. It's a, actually like a multi-purpose cleaner. It helps take off grease, dirt, all kinds of things. I really like this one and only for a dollar guys. I spray that and I also get my dish soap sponge and it already has soap on it and I like to clean the sink very well before I start uh, washing the dishes even though it's probably already clean because I put all my clean dishes away. I always like to give a little clean. There's never anything too clean for me so just give it a little clean if that's something that you would like to do. I'm gonna be washing the dishes first. I feel like this is the first thing that I have to do in the kitchen. This was a messy kitchen. This was a messy house. This is after Christmas. We had gifts everywhere and then I put them away. I didn't really show that in the video, but I like to wash the dishes before I actually start cooking breakfast. I feel like the kitchen is so much cleaner and I have to cook in a clean kitchen. I can't cook in a dirty kitchen like this, which is why I wanted to start off with the dishes. And then once I got done with the dishes, that's when I started putting things away and throwing uh, things in the trash things that were trash. For my dish soap, the container, I put dish the Dawn soap. I really like that one, the blue one. I feel like it works better to cut grease more than any other dish soaps I've used in the past. I put a little bit of Clorox, just whatever fits in that little lid, just a little bit. Well, not, I don't fill it up the whole way. Just put a little bit of bleach. Then I also, sometimes I spray some of that awesome and sometimes vinegar as well. But this time I just put dished on soap and then a little bit of uh, Clorox and water. Yes, water. Don't forget that. Once I'm done with washing all the dishes, what I like to do is I like to clean the sink once again. I like to clean where I had my dirty dishes. Now this is the sink where it gets a little bit more dirtier because this is where I actually did the washing, the hand washing. So after I'm done with my dish sponge, I like to put it in the microwave for two minutes. This is gonna help kill any bacteria or any mold or anything that could be left on the dish sponge. So I always make sure to do that. To clean my countertops, I use the Awesome Spray. Sometimes I use a different one, but for this video, on this occasion, I use that Awesome Spray just because it's awesome. <laughs> it actually is. It's like I said, it's a multi-purpose cleaner. It really does help and it serves as a great cleaner. It takes blood stains, grease, wine, liquor, gum, oil, any pet stains, inks, some inks, fresh paint, grape juice, berry juice. At least that's what the bottle says. And I mean, I like it. I like how, the way it cleans, so that's why I use it. And only a buck, $1 at the dollar store. Now let's move on to my microwave stove area. I cannot say this enough times, guys. 
I have been loving, loving this spray. This is the Goof Off. I purchased this at Walmart, but I know they sell it at Lowe's and other stores. Cheaper to buy at Walmart, which is why I bought it there. It's more expensive at Lowe's. That's where that other place where I saw it. But anyways, guys, I like to spray this on my microwave. And this, I just give it one spray, one or two sprays. I use a paper towel and all the grease is gone. Seriously, this is like a miraculous product. I've never used a product that got rid of the grease right away and it leaves my microwave shiny sparkly clean i sometimes use a cloth it doesn't matter paper towels or cloths it really doesn't matter for my stove i'm going to be using the, these stainless steel wipes sometimes i use the wipes or sometimes i use the spray that i have and some paper towels but i really like the wipes it really does help uh, clean off all the stainless steel on the part of the stove and for the stove i'm going to be using the liquid on the surface of the stove and then i use that white cleaner and i just want to mention you guys that i do use a blade and this was in the instructions manual of the stove that you can use a blade and this was part of the kit that i bought to clean my stove so at first i was like wait a minute i'm going to be using a blade to clean my stove and I thought it was going to get scratched, but it really doesn't. Moving on to the dining room area, I'm going to be using a paper towel and I'm going to be using this Daily Clean and Shine Granite and Stone Spray. I like this a lot because it's been leaving my granite table counter uh, shiny. Let me know what you guys use at home for your granite or marble table. Please let me know. I really would love to know. For my coffee machine, I opened it because I was cleaning and then I noticed that a lot of coffees were missing. Uh oh, yes. I am guilty. I did drink some of them, not all of them, because I gave some away when I had guests. I had to fill it up. <laughs> I really drank a lot of coffee during Vlogmas because I had to edit and stay up really late. And right now I've stopped drinking coffee. I hope I can stop and still have the energy to move on with the rest of my days. I'm going to be sweeping the floors and I like to sweep first and then I mop. You're probably not going to see it this way in this video because I edited the video or the way I edited the video or the way you guys are seeing it. I swept the dining room, the kitchen, and then I moved on to sweep the rest of the house. And then at the end, I like to do a little mopping, but that's not the way you'll be seeing it in the video. Like now, you're going to be seeing me when I went to go take a break. Well, it wasn't really a break. I went to my son's room and we were cleaning up his room. He had things all over the place. And one thing that I like to organize and that I like to make it look nice is his bookshelf because I like all the books to be aligned and looking cute. So that's what I did. I took some books out and the books I took out, some will be for donations, some I still want to keep because my son does read those books. He has read, or we've read pretty much all the books here about 10 times each. Yes, you heard that right. When he, Especially when my son was really small, he always wanted me to read the book like 10 times in that same minute. And I actually did, and I think that that helped him with his speed. I think I'm getting off topic. I went to my son's room and then I cleaned up a bit and I also organized his books. Then moving on to the bathroom, the house was clean, it, it just was disorganized. So I'm gonna be using this liquid to clean the toilets. And I'm also gonna be using some vinegar, my DIY at home cleanser that I did with vinegar, soap, and water. That's what I will be using for the windows. I'm gonna be using my squeegee and sometimes I use any uh, cloth or paper towels or anything to help clean the mirror to the bathroom. After putting the liquid, I like to scrub with, with this round brush. <laughs> The final thing that I did was I like to mop everything. And like I said, I like to sweep the whole house and then I mop the whole house. I just felt like it was so much easier to edit this way and for you guys to understand. The, cl the Clorox wipes, sorry about that. I like to disinfect everything, the whole toilet with that. So that's what I use.
I'm actually trying to work out these cleaning videos and doing them the way that you guys will enjoy watching. Please let me know if you guys like the whole explanation on why I'm using some products and which products I'm using. If not, I do plan on doing a couple videos where there's no talking because I know that some of you guys just want to watch me clean and the whole talking. Let's just leave that to the side. So I will try that, but let me know if you like it this way or the other way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will leave you guys with all of this cleaning that I will be doing. Thanks again. Take care, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.